Washington celebrated singer Dionne Warwick, comedian Billy Crystal, singer-songwriter Barry Gibb, rapper and actress Queen Latifah, and opera star Renee Fleming on December 3rd at the Kennedy Center Honors, the top U.S. honor for achievements in the arts. President Joe Biden celebrated the work of the five performers during a reception at the White House before attending the televised show. The show kicked off with a tribute to Warwick, 82, a pop music star since the 1960s who has sold more than 100 million records and is known for hits such as I'll Never Love This Way Again. Crystal, 75, known for roles in films such as When Harry Met Sally, was fated by actor-slash-director Rob Reiner and actor Robert De Niro. You're only 75. That means you're just about six years away from being the perfect age to be elected president, De Niro quipped. Biden, 81, is running for re-election. The crowd roared. Queen Latifah, 53, a musician and actress known for films including Chicago and Bringing Down the House, was lauded by Kerry Washington and rapper and singer Missy Elliott. Champion, mentor, and mother. Thank you. She's surrounded by these towering set pieces, a full orchestra, elaborate costumes and wigs, a huge chorus, sometimes even large animals lumbering around. <laughs> and Renee just cuts through all that pomp and size and gives us a real, breathing human being. A deeper part of himself in sharing it with the world. He effortlessly blends harmony and heart melancholy and melody, all while creating some of the catchiest, most popular and universally beloved music ever. And he's been doing it since he was nine years old. <laughs>